Hey Run Junkies, many races offer the opportunity for you to check a gear bag at the start of your race so you have a few necessary items after you cross the finish line. While this might not be necessary for a 5K or a 10K, longer races like the half or full marathon, these are really nice to have. Your race day effort combined with some weather related conditions may warrant having a few of these items to keep you safe, comfortable, and recover well after the race. So how do gear bags work? Well, first of all, the race itself might distribute bags specific for gear bag check. They want you to use their gear bag specifically. For Run Disney races, there are the clear plastic drawstring bags. For rock and roll events, there's some, something like these uh, shoe sling bags. You'll fill your bag up, you'll bring it to the volunteers at gear bag check where they will write your bib number and your possibly your last name on that gear bag. They will keep your bag safe throughout the race. Now for point to point races, they might load all of the bags up onto trucks and transport them to the finish line, no matter what your bag is going to be safe. So what goes in the gear bag? What are those items that you really need or really want for after you cross the finish line? Regardless of how you pack your gear bag, just remember that for a lot of the larger races, you will be subject to a gear bag check. So plan accordingly for that. First up, I like to have some warm, dry clothes. I will at least put a sweatshirt or jacket in the gear bag that's really nice to have, especially if you're feeling a bit chilled after the race. You might be warm during the race, but once you cool down and after you stop running, everything that's kind of damp, you'll get a bit chilled. So having that warm, dry layer will help keep you warm. And if you wanna change your clothes completely right after a race, there's no harm in putting a full change of clothes in that gear bag. And this is especially important if you have rain forecast for your race. If you are crossing the finish line completely soaked, having a poncho and a dry change of clothes is going to help you stay warm right after that race. While this isn't always necessary, look to the conditions of the day, see what the weather's gonna do. If it's going to be cool or rainy or snowy, having a warm layer is going to help you dramatically at the end of the race. Another thing I like to pack is a dense protein source. Now, a lot of races don't have nutrition or if they do, it's not quite what we need at the end of a race. They might have bananas, they might have bagels, those are great but a protein source is really gonna help you recover faster. 10 to 20 grams of protein within 30 minutes of your run is going to help your muscles replenish what it needs to recover well. So I like to throw a bar in my gear bag. Uh, I use RX bars or Luna bars. I love these, they have about 12 grams of protein in them. So I just grab one of those right after the race, especially if the race does not have a protein source available right after. You might also wanna to toss in other food items into your gear bag just in case, or something that you are really craving, something even to reward yourself. Or you might throw in a bottle of your favorite sports beverage if you don't like what they have on course. And you can even throw in a couple of additives tips so you can grab that water bottle and throw in a capsule of noon or whatever you like to have. You might also pack a change of shoes. I personally like my Ufos recovery sandals or shoes. These are great for right after a race. You just knock your shoes off and you throw on your sandals and it just feels really good to get out of those running shoes, especially after a long distance race. Recovery shoes and sandals are great if you know you're going to be spending a lot of time post race before you can actually get back to a change of shoes. These are just great for walking around. Also in the footwear category, if you don't wear compression socks during the race, these are great for after. I personally like CEP compression socks, but any compression sock will do. In fact, if you put a pair of compression socks on after your race, it is going to keep the blood flowing. So that helps with recovery as well. If you've been sweating a lot or you have a long time before you know you're gonna get back to a shower, having wipes available to just kind of wipe off your face and just get yourself kind of cleaned up a little little bit before you have to wait a while before you shower, these are nice to have as well. This is the Epic Wipe. I love these and they are basically a shower in a bag. One last thing I will put in my gear bag is my external battery and my charge cord for my phone. Depending on the length of the race, if it's particularly long, if it's cold, the battery drains faster. If I'm using it for a lot of podcasts 
or listening to music or actually taking a lot of video, I may go through that battery fairly quickly and I might not have a lot left at the end of a race. Having a charge cord will help me charge it quickly in case I need to get in touch with someone right after. With all the stuff that you can put in your gear bag, here are a few things I advise you to not drop at bag check. Anything that is valuable, your phone, your wallet, IDs, anything like that, because volunteers are moving and shuffling those bags around small items like that might fall out of your gear bag so either take them with you on the run leave them with a friend or family member who is at the race or find a way to leave them at home you really only need an id and one form of payment and if you have to bring car keys along with you what i do is i take the remote key fob off of my car keys and that's the only thing i carry i will lock my car with the key fob carry the key fob with me and then unlock it after all of those items you can just drop in a pocket or in your hydration belt or vest during your race. The bottom line is this, you just worked really hard to cross that finish line successfully and you want all of the items that are going to keep you moving, keep you safe, keep you comfortable and recover well right after the race. My question for you today is this, do you check a gear bag for races and if so what do you include in that bag? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments and suggestions in the comment section down below. As always give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget Get to subscribe. I've got more great stuff coming from Go Find Your Awesome. But that is it for me today, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Go find your awesome. Until next time, happy running.